As one of the superheroes of Marvel Comics, Iron Man has something special in his chest. The Arc Reactor, which is believed to be his power supply. In science, the device is called tokamak, where controlled nuclear fusion takes place. Just like what powers the sun and the stars, fusion is a potential source of safe, carbon-free, and virtually unlimited energy. Today, more than 30 countries are working together to build the world's largest tokamak in southern France, a project named ITER. But here in China, behind me, is a smaller version of Tokamak, the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or EAST, which will pave the way for other major fusion experiments in the world, according to the Journal of Nature. Located in the scientific island in Hefei, capital of East China's Anhui province, the donut-shaped device aims to create all the extreme conditions needed for hydrogen atoms to fuse, a process that will release tremendous amounts of energy as what's happening inside the sun. One such condition is extremely high temperature. In November 2018, yeast generated a temperature of over 100 million degrees Celsius in its core plasma, nearly seven times as hot as the sun's interior. Since its operation in 2006, the Chinese designed and developed East has become an open test facility for both Chinese and international scientists to conduct related experiments. The Chinese scientists are very well uh, open to the scientific collaboration. There are a lot of uh, things which can do together and uh, I think they are very happy and easy to, to, to collaborate. We, we are very interested uh, to study together with our colleagues this uh, kind of technology and it will be very important for the future development of the fusion reactor. I think. In fact, fusion study is just a small mirror of China's attitude towards scientific cooperation. The country is extending its arms to welcome scientists from all over the world in various fields, such as atmospheric science, medical science, and more. In recent years, China's spending on scientific research and development has reached over 2% of its GDP, about 280 billion US dollars last year. The country is also creating favorable conditions for its scientists and engineers. Products made in China has brought great convenience to people in many countries. But today, China aims to improve the livelihood of human beings with more high-tech machines, such as this one. The machine is used to detect the risk of diabetes. It has been exported to other countries, such as Thailand and India. Just like what Chinese President Xi Jinping said, no country can alone address the many challenges facing mankind. No country can afford to retreat into self-isolation. As an important participant and contributor to global science and technology, China endeavors to open up further for more international cooperation and look for solutions to the common challenges of humanity.